My name is Jure, I'm a physical therapist and minor flex therapist. Me and my wife, we are running our private clinic in the capital city of Slovenia called Ljubljana. I love sport, that's why I'm, a lot, I'm working a lot on sport field. And I was head of therapist on Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang 2018 and I will have the same function at Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo next year. I love manual therapy, I work mostly with my hands and I, I like complicated cases. However, work is not everything, so I enjoy spending my time with my family, my wife and my two young energetic sons. Once a client of mine asked me, is there a correlation between body, movement, tissue and immune system? Well, there is. In fact, there is a lot of correlations. And I will give you my way, my thinking, which also helped me to become a better person, not just a better therapist. So once I was sitting uh, near biggest Ljubljana street in a pub drinking coffee and I was watching people walking down the street you know what most of them very sad depressed deeply inside their mind or deeply inside their cell phone just some of them were happy how can you notice them of course smile on their face and face is very important because you can see what is going on with the person, physiologically or psychologically, on its face. I have never seen a sad person walking in upright position, but I have seen a sad person walking in hunched position. Why is this hunched position so important? Because our neck muscles, chest muscles, abdominal muscles, front hip muscles are in tension, are short. That's why our lungs cannot work with full speed. That's why our lungs cannot accept enough air that the body needs. Consequently, there is not enough oxygen delivered to our cells. If you go further to the abdominal area, there, is a, there are whole internal organs here, a lot of them. One of the most important is digestive system, and we know that superficial layer, superficial fascia, is connected with fascia that connects internal organs. So we have tension in front of our body and we have two very important systems not working with full speed. So what we do? Most of the time we sit. Uh, we are sitting in front of the computer, sitting in a car, uh, sitting on a chair, uh, eating and scrolling Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at the same time and we develop pain, pain in the neck, pain at the back. And when we have pain, we have a problem. Usually when we have more pain, we should exercise more, of course, proper exercises. But what happened in the real world? More pain, less exercise, less walking outdoor, we have bad eating habits, lower immune system, we have a disbalance in our body. And that is a big problem. And when we have pain and we're not exercising, sometimes we get sick. When we're sick, when we are sick, we are lying in our bed, we are doing nothing. And we are in a circle. It's not just one circle, it's a bunch of circles. And another circle is worse than the circle before. So what can we do? We have several muscles in front of our body but some of them are really really important and one of them is ellipsoas muscle and diaphragm or our muscle that help us to breathe scalini muscles jaw muscles and face muscles and we should not forget about the first vertebra we call it atlas i'm not that crazy fan of atlas but I think atlas is important because 12 different muscles attach to atlas. And atlas together with axis, this is cervical first and cervical second vertebra, they create a joint between two, 
these two vertebrae. And if this is in some kind of imbalance, instability, it can cause problems in the lower part, parts of our vertebra. It can cause headache, vertigo, blood vision, problems with hearing, problems with talking, pain in the chest, pain between shoulder blades, pain in the shoulder, elbow, wrist, all these symptoms. So, when I had clients, and after 15 to 20 minutes, they often said to me, I must go to pee. And I said, well, you can go. And I'm laughing at the same time. Why? Because when they come back, they said, I didn't pee. And I said, I know you didn't, because it was just your bladder working. And they also hear some kind of crunching in their stomach. While well, that's their digestive system working. They're not hungry. So I just try to put them in some kind of safety mode. Because, you know, we have two different um, uh, neurological systems. Okay, not, it's not systems, but you have sympathicus and parasympathicus. And when I work on them, when I put them in safety mode, I increase the parasympathicus nerve system, I decrease the sympathicus nerve system. That's why they are calm, relaxed, and sometimes also tired. What should we do? We should be more flexible in the front part of our body. We should do different exercises to open our front part of the body. Yoga is perfect. Face yoga is even better. You all know yoga, you all know the cobra exercise. This is very good. And I will show you another exercise. I call it Titanic exercise. It's exercise called, you know, you all know you all watched the Titanic movie, you all know, you all know uh, Kate, Kate Winslet. She was doing, she was standing in front of the ship at the edge and she was, she was enjoying fresh air in her air, hair. So, this exercise is very important because you're opening your neck, chest, abdomen and hip. While you're doing this exercise, you must breathe abdominally. You have to hold this position for about 20 to 30 seconds. And you can repeat it three to five times. The best time to do it is in the morning, but you can also do it for the whole day. Okay? Also, it's very important that your, uh, your mouth is closed. And sometimes you can also close your eyes. Okay. Go on your knees. You can also do this exercise standing position, but I think on the knees is better. You have to push your hips forward. If you feel some pain or discomfort at the low back region, try to slightly contract your abdominal muscles or don't do, don't push your hips too much forward, okay? And concentrate in this case more on the chest muscles. Your both shoulders must go back. You have to feel like you are queen or king of the world, okay? Try to feel the stretching of your muscles in front of your chest. We call it pector, pectoral muscles. Push your hip forward unless you have a, a, a very strong low back pain. And push your jaw to the ceiling and close your mouth. Try to concentrate. On every part you are stretching with this exercise. Try to concentrate and do not forget, breathe abdominally. And relax. Like I said, you can repeat it three to five times. Okay, let's do a short summary. Tension in front part of the body can be problematic. That's why we have to improve our flexibility 
have to improve the flexibility of the joints in front and flexibility of the muscle in front. Because when we improve the flexibility, we have better breathing mechanism, and our digestive system is working better, and our immune system is stronger. Thank you for listening. I all wish you a pleasant day, pleasant evening, good night or good morning, whenever in the world you are. Bye!